I have so many questions, so I need to just get started. Let's pull it up. We're going to start with a question that I have absolutely been putting off so long, but I am ready to talk about it now. It's kind of the premise of this video, I guess. Um, and that is, is this our last baby? Um, we're going to be having another baby, last pregnancy, questions like that. Why I haven't I've been getting asked this so many times and why I haven't brought it up myself or answered it in any comments, DMs, anything is simply because I just wasn't ready to. I wasn't wanting the backlash because I really think I'm going to get backlash from this which is so annoying because it's our life and you can do what you want with your life and I will fully support it as long as you're not hurting anyone and I don't have to share everything in my life but this is something I knew I wanted to share I just wasn't ready yet hopefully that makes sense so is this our last pregnancy um and last baby the answer is yes we only want two kids now that may come as a complete shock to some or I'm surprised I was asked it actually in the terms of is this your last pregnancy not when are you going to have another. Um, I don't think I've ever like referenced or hinted even at this being our last. Maybe I have and I just don't know it because everyone in our family knows that we only want two kids. Grant has only ever wanted two kids and we have our sweet Wesson and then our sweet baby boy. <laughs> First time talking to you guys since the gender reveal. Um, one second, I think Grant's home actually, so I'm gonna blend this. Yeah, just got an alert on my phone. I know that I'm gonna get backlash because the slight times that we have even shared, we've got opinions on it. And um, I know my in-laws, they only have um, two kids, Grant and then his sister, and they had them young as well. And they also, and they knew that they were done. You just kind of know when you know. And if you don't, then don't make any permanent decisions and whatnot. But they just kind of knew and they even got backlash from it. And that was however many years ago. So you just, I don't know. I don't need to even explain myself, but it's just what we want. Grant has only ever wanted two and I've always said three to two. And I came at 100% peace and certainty when Weston was a newborn. And why that may come as a shock to some of you guys is because I absolutely love being a mother. Like, I love everything about it. I love fertility. I love pregnancy. I love birth. I love labor. I love even, like, thinking about postpartum. Um, just what the body goes through. It's so miraculous to me. But that's not enough to just keep having babies, you know? Grant and I are very, like, close-knit. And no matter what the gender was going to be, it was going to be our last. But... Grant and I are very close-knit people. Um, we're very like homebodies and just keep to ourselves. And obviously I share so much out there, but um, it's really just with whoever wants to accept it, you know. I think there's gonna be something so special about just having two that are so close. I grew up with four siblings and it was always too much for me. I never felt super close to my siblings and that's something that I'm so excited to give Wesson is a sibling and we've wanted that forever we wanted close kids so it's not anything that just was like spur of the moment but we're gonna close the the gates here here and now i also know we'll get asked like are you sure like you're so young like oh, are you so sure it's like again you know when you know and then some people will say what if something happens to one of your kids one of your babies which is a very morbid thought or a morbid thing to ask someone i have been asked that before I need a brush. Of course. Weston loves taking my makeup brushes and playing with them. And he took my eyebrow brush and I just threw away my second eyebrow brush. So I have so many friends that want to have big families and big families make sense for so many families. Just you have to know yourself and maybe why we're so certain on this and like unshaken and other people are like, oh, I could not make that decision. It's just, we're very like, we kind of just know what we want and we just, it, we're just like, 
I don't know if the word self aware um because people that don't know what they want it's not like that's a bad thing but anyways we just know in all certainty like and when, once we had Weston I was like okay like it was like I just knew and I told Grant and because I love motherhood and everything like yes I would love to go through like so many pregnancies but the more kids you have the more pay for vacations the more pay for schooling trips school vacations um you know sporting events you need a bigger van um food like all that everything just the cost gets exponential and um yeah i'm gonna stop there because i could just always over explain this question has been asked time and time again will like literally so many times will the babies be room sharing or separate rooms how will that adjustment go for wesson and then yeah I didn't get asked like as much in this but I've been asked that question so many times and I've been waiting for a video to share it but yes we are gonna room share um again I was surprised at like that specific question maybe just because people know our house is small um and that's why it was asked so specifically but yes we do plan on room sharing even if it was a girl we were still gonna room share um my thoughts on this and again you may totally disagree and that's fine we can all live differently okay um my thoughts on room sharing i need to get rid of this i do not like the laura mercier translucent powder um is wesson's literally only in his room for naps and sleep like he doesn't play in his room we have we like him to like play in the living room with us but mainly like in a playroom because then i can work and he can play i like him doing independent play and stuff like that and just having all the toys in one area we only have a few toys out in our living room and i always put them away right away um it just is what works for us and i didn't want to give up an office space for me because i do work from home and a playroom because i really like the idea of a playroom all the toy toys in one area i didn't want to give that up we do have three bedrooms and again weston's hardly ever even in his room it's literally to change him and when he's sleeping like that is seriously it we were gonna have to share a room no matter what and now that there are boys it's gonna be so exciting and then to answer the question how it'll go for weston we will see when we get there um i've heard like horror stories of it and um what is that youtuber's name ah mm. Ooh, ah. she's room sharing with her boys and she got like so much hate on it when she shared at the end of her pregnancy and they're now like successfully doing it and it's worked out great for them she said it wasn't easy at first and she's not gonna act like it it was gonna be so we'll see i mean wesson literally never once still has had a sleep regression he's been an insanely amazing sleeper i'm not saying that's gonna last he's been such an easy baby like I'm surprised by <laughs> how easy but I'm not saying like that's gonna last forever like if we have like a really hard spot which is gonna happen at some point in parenting then that's okay that's a part of parenting and it's nothing to be like so totally like scared about um so we will see when it comes stick around I will update on that um but from the research I have done I definitely think we can do it and I definitely think it is possible and I think it'll be a really awesome thing to have two brothers sharing a room it's not that abnormal for some families i don't want them to room share like when they're like older but this young totally cool with it for either of you disappointed not having a girl grant did want a girl this time but he wasn't like disappointed in getting a boy i would say grant's very like chill go with the flow kind of dude and i love that about him but he did actually want a girl he did voice that many times but he was absolutely not upset like you guys saw his reaction he was so excited to see a boy and he loves Weston so much and yeah not disappointed about a gender I have always only wanted boys I have a feeling you always wanted to be a boy mom but would would have loved if it was a girl no matter what I'm gonna love my child like when Weston even came out we obviously knew his gender before but literally a few minutes after he was out maybe not even because he hadn't even been on my chest yet so like not even the first minute of his birth I said is it a boy and like if they would have said right then and there he's a girl I would have been so excited for a girl like gender you're gonna love your baby no matter what like no matter what they're your freaking child and it's the most amazing thing ever but I am just being honest like on gender um, disappointment that was asked um, and like just gender preferences 
some people are like very like absolutely not and I think that's awesome but um Grant did want a girl and I did want a boy um but if we had a girl it would have been amazing towards the end of finding out gender this time oh this is the first time talking to you guys since it's like released but um when it was coming closer to finding out the gender I was starting to get 50 50 like either way it would have been totally cool like it was our last baby and either way it would have been cool but I've just always felt a boy connection a boy mom the only reason I wanted a girl actually would be to use the name that we have it's a family name I've talked about that that's the only reason that I would have wanted a girl and that's not a big enough reason I feel like other than that every single thing boy like it's just all if I would have if I was having a girl, I would feel so uneasy, so unsure, like so not knowing what to do um, with a girl. And that's just how I've always felt. I had brothers growing up, so and I was the only girl. So I'm used to being like the only girl, and I actually like it that way. I'm like trying to realize like why am I so attached to being a boy mom? Because before I even knew Grant, I have literally, I can't even express, I have just always 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 wanted to be a boy mom and i've always voiced that to my friends and family and stuff so oh also the second time finding out gender i was like so much more like crazy about knowing because i really really like with weston i wasn't near as much this time i was wanting to know who's gen who his sibling was gonna be like so bad like the dynamic like brother 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 sister like i just wanted to know and like visualize it and it literally like turned my stomach at night like thinking about it. i was constantly thinking about it and it was driving me crazy super confused when you found the gender out was it before christmas so yes if you watched our video we found out christmas eve morning we just kept it a secret from everyone and we didn't share i actually did get some dms that were like i think you secretly know the gender and i just didn't reply um which i felt bad because i love replying but uh yeah we did just hold on to the gender for a while i liked it that way because i do share so much that it was nice just holding that to like grant and i and not getting asked and like pressured like when are you gonna share when are you gonna share because once we did even announce, ooh, once I did announce that um, we knew the gender, I was getting like bombarded with, when's it coming? Post the video, like share it. Can you just tell me? Like, just please tell me. Like, I won't tell anyone. And like, people will tell when they're ready to tell, first of all. And um, yeah, that's another reason also we just like kept it between us because I knew people would just like want to know if we knew they were gonna want to know. Breastfeeding, um, things that we're doing differently this time around. I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that. Things I'm doing different with baby number two. I love, love, love watching those videos. And so I have had that planned forever. It'll be up within the next like month or so, I would say. Do you plan to go without an epidural again? You're amazing however you birth. You are amazing however you birth. I do plan on going without an epidural again. I'm so excited. I literally loved my birth so much and it's almost been a year ago. Um, I've loved my birth so, so, so much and it was literally the coolest day in my life, most transformative and everything and I absolutely loved going without an epidural so I'm totally gonna do it again. So obsessed with it as long as I can, God willing, obviously. If there's complications, like for a medical reason, then obviously I'm gonna do whatever is best for my life and my baby's life. Um, obviously just as fertility isn't a given and expected an easy ride, neither is labor. Labors aren't all this magical fairy tale beauty scene that I, I always talk about because that's just my personal journey. Sorry, technical difficulties. When are you due? June 18th. Do you feel you are showing more or less than you did with Weston? In the beginning, I thought I was showing less, which I was surprised by like the first trimester. And now I don't know. I would say I'm honestly probably showing the same amount i am definitely showing and it's definitely progressing so i'd say probably the same now how did your family respond to baby number two being a baby boy i just shared that video literally today when i'm filming this are you nervous about having two um very young at once no i'm not and i feel like maybe i should be i don't know like i don't know if i'm just super crazy or what i was like totally cool if we had um irish twins um I don't know I'm not I guess because I'm able to stay home that that relieves like a lot of like stressors that I feel like moms could easily have um, having two really close in age um, so I'm not oh, that one's 
out. Let me throw her away. I don't think I am. I'm just so excited about it. I'm so excited to have them so close in age. I don't know. I think everything, again, is perspective and all how you look at it and all how you view things. Weston was like such an easy baby, so that's definitely not helping me with anything. Maybe our next boy will be easy too or whatnot. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not nervous. I probably should be that's probably not the greatest answer um I don't know if I'm being naive with that answer or what but I'm not when you found out you're pregnant again what were your first thoughts I have a video finding out so excited I was like I didn't cry with Wesson and I wanted Wesson just as much as this one but so so excited I we really 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 wanted a sibling close in age for Wesson so so excited are you scared you won't have the same connection as you did with Wesson am I reading this right are you scared you won't have the same connection as you did with Wesson okay I don't know exactly what the person's meaning completely by this so I did share that with Wesson my son um I did not feel a connection to him until three months postpartum when I stopped breastfeeding and I stopped pumping finally that connection came so I think that's something that a lot of moms don't necessarily speak on publicly but when i shared that i got so many stinking messages about that and um that i was like not alone and that felt so good because i felt like a bad mom or something for like just honestly not feeling a connection to my baby so um i'm expecting that to happen again honestly just because it was my experience last time but all pregnancies aren't the same all births aren't the same all postpartum everything's not the same so I'm also mindful and hopeful that this postpartum will be different and I will make things different about it. That's going to be in the video, like the differences that we're doing. And hopefully um, I do have a connection better with the second child. But I'm not worried about like my connection to Weston and people oftentimes say they just want to soak in their first baby. And like I've got comments like, why are you having another baby so close? Like you're taking away that time from like your first son and stuff like that and absolutely that's not the case like everyone is just so different in what works for your family but I am able to stay home with Wesson as I work from home so I see Wesson <laughs> so much I see Wesson probably more than the average person sees their child and I'm so thankful and lucky for so many reasons for that but with that, I'm so connected to my son, Wesson, and my pregnancy is as amazing and beautiful as it is. It's not taking away from Wesson, and at any point, you're gonna, at any point with your baby number two, you're gonna have a child at any age, and every age is something to be paying great attention to, and you're still gonna have the pregnancy, and they can both... You can have two great things in your life. You can have five great things in your life, and it doesn't dull the other great thing. So it gets to me when people say that or it's just like annoying or like huh but like people have twins people have triplets and like it's just as beautiful and you don't favor a child or something more it's actually been extremely easy being pregnant with Wes and being so young because he's not a crazy rambunctious toddler I still do have some months so we'll see but I think it's just gonna work out well we'll see when I get there obviously it's gonna be hard and I'll be honest about that like with Weston postpartum, it wasn't just such a breeze. And if Weston was a crazier baby, not crazy, that's not the word. I don't know. I'll be honest with how it goes and we will see. Check back in in a couple months. Weston's middle name is Grant. My husband's name, Weston Grant. Okay, speaking on names, I'm getting asked this so much in this one. Are we answering the name? Do we have a name set? When are we announced? Are we waiting till birth? All of those questions. I have specifically, again, not answered this just yet. Um, we do have a name set. That is what, when we found out our um, gender, that's what was in the balloon was our baby boy's first and middle name. And um, that's what was like blurred out a bunch in that video of telling family. Because our family and very closest friends do know. Um, but I don't want many other people other than that to know. So if you know our baby's name, don't tell people. We're not going to share it until birth. Um, with Wes and we shared it earlier, this time we are not sharing the name of our baby boy until birth. Um, because the reasoning being, this is my favorite lip pencil ever. I did love sharing Weston's name before because we got to speak to him like that. If it was a girl, we were definitely going to wait 100% because I wanted to announce the name specially and um, just all of that. However, 
with boy, I was kind of like on the fence. Like I wasn't really sure and Grant doesn't care either way. The most hate I've ever got on a video and in comments was announcing Weston's name. Um, I was pregnant and I just got bombarded with so much hate. It's like people are like, it's like lesson for kids with a lisp. They're gonna say lesson or, oh, let me teach your kid a lesson. Or um, it's like just a bunch of, I don't know. I got like a bunch of weird comments. And it's like I deleted some but also I was just getting quite a few so I just left them up and it is what it is and like a lot of them got like hundreds of likes and like comments back and forth. Um, oh poor, poor baby and it's like our baby is the least thing from a poor baby because he is given every single thing that he ever could want and love. Not even money or anything like that but love and like infatuation and amazement and all. And people just get so connected to names it's kind of odd and that I just don't want to share because it was annoying to always get those. It never made me second guess and it wasn't something that I was like, hmm, like upset about. But like it was just annoying, like go away, like bye, I don't care. Like you're literally not changing my mind, you're not hurting my feelings. Or people would be like, well what if your son gets made fun of for his name? It's like, huh? I do think I'll randomly give like little hints here and there though. That could be fun. Are you scared to not pay as much attention to Weston with baby number two? So I'm relating this one a little different. Am I nervous to not pay Weston attention once the baby gets here? So I mean, a newborn does take your attention and a newborn does need your attention. But I'm not worried because like, this is like way too much color. Oh my gosh, I kind of feel like a clown. Weston is a baby and he is going to need my attention and the newborn will need my attention as well. Um, but just as a mom, I know your heart just expands and I'm like so aware of that because my love for Grant like is sky high 9000 supersonic speed, then Barrett sky high 9000 supersonic speed, both my amazing boys that I love so much, Wesson same thing like I tell him he's the best boy ever and then I tell Barrett the same thing and I tell Grant the same thing. It's going to be no different, it's just my heart's going to expand and I'm going to make time where it's just Weston and I, and it's just for a few months of the life, and I will have time with Weston, I will have time with the newborn, Grant will be there, Grant and Weston are getting to, as Weston's starting to cry right now, um, the age where they're able to start bonding good, and he does need his dad, and um, I also do have help when I will need it from family, which I am so blessed and thankful for. Um, Barrett, if you guys have seen on Instagram, Barrett does so well with Weston. They're like the best of buds ever. And again, I think it's just something where your heart expands. German Shepherds are very family oriented. What's your number one piece of advice for first time moms to be? Mm, enjoy it. Enjoy your pregnancy. Again, fertility is not easy and is not given. So enjoy the fact that you are pregnant. Soak in that pregnancy, those first trimester. Even though you're not showing, you are so freaking pregnant. You are you have two heartbeats inside you. You are growing like such a human. Um, rest when your body needs to rest. Um, just soak in your pregnancy. Don't wish for the birth to get here. Just wish it to be away. Um, soak it in. If it is a not so enjoyable pregnancy, because that's definitely also a thing, um, just try to soak it in because it's not going to be here for much longer. Enjoy those stinking kicks. Ah, oh, so wonderful. Um, and then when baby is here, advocate for yourself. Do things that you need as a mother. Um, a lot of the times the mothers are skipped right over and it is right onto the newborn. Um, advocate for yourself when you can. Make sure your husband knows that or your significant other. Um, your family knows that. Have your family check in on your mental state. Um, there's so much just change happening. So advocate for yourself. Take time to do something for yourself. Eat. Um, as a first time brand new mom, eat. Just take it slow. Don't overdo things. Don't try to pick baby up and do this and do that. Um, really rest up. You're going to need it and just enjoy it because it goes by so fast. And now I'm going to have a one year old this week and this weekend. It goes by so fast. Last question here that I just wanted to answer. Do you plan to stay home indefinitely with your kids? Um, and then the, her second part to that, is there a dream career of yours? When slash if you go back to work in the future? Something I do want to say is I do work. Like I'm a stay at home mom, but I'm a stay at home working mom. On top of that, I do get a paycheck. I do my taxes. I do get a W-2. Um, 
So to me, if you get a paycheck, you're working. Um, so I am a working stay-at-home mom. I am so grateful for that. Um, and that's something that my friend Kylie and she says, people are like, oh, you're so lucky because she does like photography and then she does YouTube and like podcasts and stuff. And people tell her she's lucky. And she's like, I'm not lucky. I didn't just boom, this just happened to me. Like I set this up. I've been doing YouTube for four years. It didn't just come. And the paychecks aren't even crazy. I'm not gonna be the first to whatever about it like they're not crazy and with having my first baby in the first year I've been so off on the YouTube grind that you know that's a whole thing in itself it's more of like a part-time job part-time income um but Grant has always his mom was a stay-at-home mom and he's always mentioned like how he's wanted me to be at home with the kids and that's just kind of probably from his upbringing and I've always came from like working parents. So I always would want to do something, but now that I'm a mom, I totally have so much respect for um, just moms and stay at home moms because it's all within which, what works for your family and what works for you and what you want. I'm so thankful I get to raise my baby when he's sick. He can, and he does get watched um, very briefly, very few times a week, but not all the time. Like this week, not at all. Um, a lot of the weeks if he's sick, not at all. If the weather is bad, not at all and stuff like that. I'm just so thankful that I have that ability. I'm able to be a stay at home mom first. I'm able to be his mom and just parent him the way I want to and be there for him. With that, something I wanna say, Melina Ciciotti, first of all, she has talked beautifully on stay at home moms. Um, there was a podcast, I'll try to link that down below too. I'm gonna to need to remember to link so many things and put like the timestamp. It was just very short. I loved what she said on it. I like just used to be something that was like so praised and like honorable and now it's like, ugh, like you don't go to a nine to five, you know? Our children are something that is fleeting. It, they're never gonna be this age ever again. It's fleeting so quickly and they do need us and we are raising great humans in this world. My number one favorite quote, I think it was at the end of Weston's birth blog, I know it was actually, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. I love that so much. Um, Childcare is expensive, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you also have to trust people. It's not all just rainbows and butterflies. It's what works for your family. I'm not even saying stay at home mom would be great for every situation. It's all within what you want. If you want vacations every year, go out and have beautiful dinners, have a nice house, have a nice car, have the finer things in life, the newer things, stuff like that. Maybe a stay at home mom isn't an option unless your husband or your wife makes excellent income and is the breadwinner and able to sustain the life that you want. Now, I didn't grow up with money. With that, I'm just saying that I know what I need is love and I have that in Grant and I'm so thankful for that, oh my gosh. No matter what, I've always told Grant, like with anything, we can make it work, we have love and that's all that is needed. And so we don't need all the finer things in life. And at some point, a nine to five will be a thing for my future again, unless YouTube absolutely skyrocketed and it wasn't needed and like situational, who stinking knows? Again, I don't like playing the future. I'm not opposed to going back to work at all. Here. Okay. Hi, baby. No, I'll be out there. I'm, I'm like just done right now. I'll be out there. The baby boy! Anyways, I'm gonna stop there because I can always rant forever. What's up, baby boy? I hope you guys enjoyed that and I answered all the questions. I answered a lot that I've been getting asked so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. What are you doing, mister? What you looking at? Huh? Look up here. Say bye-bye. Say subscribe to my mommy. Subscribe to my mommy. She's a great, great mommy and a great, great mommy. Oh, two boys. What a wild, like is this cute or is this just clowny? Mm.